have a going test. Is anybody around? First thing in the morning over here. Well, I'm not wearing my Fitbit. Oh no. I don't know what time it is without that. How will I ever know the time if I don't have it on my wrist? Because goodness knows my phone doesn't like to tell me the correct time whatsoever when it's connected to the computer. Blech. My hair is going to be extra dramatic today, I think. Extra dramatic. So I remember to braid it before going to sleep for once. <laughs> and the fan's blowing in my face, as usual. As per usual. Let's adjust that a little bit, maybe. I need the fresh air. I need the air to be blowing at me, but I don't need it so in my face. It doesn't need to be quite that close. I do not know what is up with that little doohickey. Because Twitch says there's 41 followers, but the little doohickey says there's only 34. It just doesn't like to update. Maybe it should just go away. <laughs> Let's hide you. You're, you're lying. Maybe I could tell it to come back. Nope, it's still lying. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> well, we'll see if anybody turns up to the party. And we're going to open some stuff, so come hang out. Come hang out and see 20 packs get opened. Why not? Why would you want to do that? Maybe I need to tell, tell more peoples. In the, morning, bleh, in the morning, I can never remember how to do anything. My brain is just like, what is life even? I think, I'm pretty sure I am my own one viewer. I think that's how that works. <laughs> I am the one viewer. It is me. It is me. I think maybe Monday morning streams could become a regular thing. That might be a good idea. They tell me that having a regular schedule is a good thing. It's just, I don't like schedules. I don't like routines. I'm pretty resistant to routines. I can't explain why. I just am. I just am. Whoop. Hey, what? There we go. Done. Oh, now I see we're up to three viewers. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Wait and see if anybody else is going to come hang out before we go cracking these little packs open. Do, 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 do. Oh, there we go. Yes, yes. Also just arranging things on my desktop so I can see as much as possible. There we go. That'll do. Let's get this keyboard out of the way. Hello to the people, whoever you are. Hello and welcome. Good morning. It is quarter to eight in the morning here in Japan. I need to leave for work around 10, so I actually do have a lot more time for streaming than I think I do, but I also need time to just relax and be a human being. Also not sure if you can hear the like sound of all the cicadas outside, but they're here. Hey, <laughs> Dark Squall, good morning. Embrace. Hey, no worries. You're very welcome. Uh, I'm glad I could catch you before I had to head off to bed. It's always fun seeing the old uh, Japan vlogs. <laughs> well, since at least I know that there's the two of you here with me, we might as well jump into some of these because, I mean, I do have to go to work eventually. 
I'm sure we plop the Pikachu. It's I'll just lay him down here. You can just recline. That'll do. So first off, we'll open, not open, but I'll reveal this one. I already opened it so I could redeem the code. But if you've not seen the Japanese version yet, there is Japanese Professor Willow. So not all that exciting, if I'm being completely honest, but apparently quite in high demand. So I have a second one of these that I got when I was buying these packs. I was not expecting it, and I'm going to have to decide what to do with it because... The code has some value to pogo players, and then the card has some value to other people. Bleh, work, yes. <laughs> I mean, I gave myself a fairly easy day today, but um, yeah, yeah. It's still going to be a bit of a long day. It always is. Let's do the promo packs first. Um, so apparently last time around, I got Rayquaza, and that's like the card you want from these. And I was like, whoa. It is! This is the one that you sent me. Thank you very much. It's one of my favorites. It's so comfy. Like, the the fit, because it's oversized, it's just perfect. It's the best. And uh, it gets me through a lot of the summer here. The back is a little bit pilled up from carrying my work backpacks, but that's all right. All right, let's see. What's this one going to be? Hey, we got Altaria. Very nice. Very cute. It's just it's a nice, cute, soft-looking Pokemon. It's always having a good time. Uh, my sleeves, they're never... They're never ready to go when I am. All right. See, that's part of that whole, it's first thing in the morning and my brain's not fully on. Will that just stand there nicely? It's not gonna, is it? What if we do this? Pikachu, do something. There, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this pleases me greatly. I need to figure out. Shiny Borb, yes. I need to figure out where my little um, plastic stand was I used to use for putting the cards in. Because I had a Jigglypuff one. It's meant for holding a cell phone, and then I actually had like a little thing from the Hyakuen shop that's meant for holding business cards, and I have no idea where they are. I packed everything away when moving and then didn't there. Pikachu's being the glamorous assistant. Absolutely so glamorous right now. I just love that that pose and recline. Alright, number two is Oh hey there. Oh what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Bakugames. It's Got something to do with exploding in its name. Ah, uh, Torterra? No. No. What is, what is it? Oh, <gasps> uh, it's like a fantastic Alola Pokemon, and it's just it, like completely escaping me right now. It'll come back to me later. But yeah, apparently in the pack I opened last time around, Rayquaza is very, very good. Oh no, Pikachu. Well, that one technically isn't Pikachu's fault. That was Professor Willow's fault. They're going to continue to fall down as we go. You know what? We'll put something with more weight there. There we go. Boom. Done. That's going to be the last pack now. So I have 20 packs here in total. <gasps> Turtonator! That's it! You have far too much energy in the morning. <laughs> I always have too much energy until I don't. It's like I, I'm wackadoodle for a certain amount of time, and then I crash, and it's nap time. And nap time can last quite a while. Um, although lately I've been doing fairly well. That's weird now that I think about it. Because <laughs> I've been going to bed at like anywhere from 11 o'clock to like 1 in the morning and then waking up at like 5 to 6 in the morning and I'm just like, woo, ready to go, let's teach children. Let's teach adults how to teach children, whoa. And it starts, well, I'm pretty sure you're right, Turtonator sounds correct. So before we crack into these, I should say I have 20 of these packs. Um, on Saturday I had a supervisor meeting in Kyoto. And I left extra early, so I had time to stop at Yodobashi Camera, and they just happened to still have these, as well as the other one, um, I, Maten Perfect. I don't know what the English names are, and I can't be bothered, because the Japanese names are better. I'm, I'm just making up excuses. Anyways, um, they had these, and they were saying, like, you can only buy 20 per person. So I went to the register, and I was like, I want 20 of these, because I wasn't able to get a box. Um, they had them all prepared already in little stacks of 20 with a rubber band around them. So hopefully the rubber bands didn't do any damage, but I don't think the packs lasted long enough for them to have time to do damage. Um, and then as I'm at the register, he gets me these, he gets me two promo packs, he gets me a Professor Willow promo, and he's like, yeah, if you spend 800 yen, you get Professor Willow. And he's like, you know you can buy 20 packs of the other set too, right? And I was just like, okay, sir, I'm, I'm sold, sold. And then it turned out I had enough Yodobashi camera points that basically this stack was free. So, free dragons. Whatever we get, let's have some fun. It's 11 at 50 p.m. here and I'm sat in the Macros drive through Oh no. Uh, you guys don't get delicious um, Pikachu themed stuff over there, do you though? 
Let's get the Ray special art. Hooray! Let's hope so. That would be amazing. Blue sky stream and skyscraping perfect. Interesting. Awesome for free dragons. Yeah. I mean, I could look at it in the other way and say free skyscrapers, but I, I think I prefer free dragons. So let's see what we get. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Reika no Omen. Well, clearly it's uh, Reika's mask, but ooh, that's, that's creepy. I don't think I like that. Oh, it's the schoolboy who Japan hates because they don't like male trainer cards in general, but like the schoolgirl card is, boom, so expensive. Why is that potato smile thing on a string? Well, you know, oh, that is a really cute Minoon. I was gonna say, sometimes you need your potato on a string, so you never know when you might need a potato and you just you need to hang it on your belt. It's just the style at the time. Oh, that is also really cute. Hello, little shell gone. Super cute. And we're starting with, oh, I'm a reap. Oh no, not Marie. Well, I'm a Flaffy. There we go. That was also really cute. I, I can't stop doing this every time I open a card. Like something's gonna happen. <laughs> if I shake it hard enough, it'll start to sparkle. Potatoes are vital. They are. They are absolutely vital. Such an important thing. I need to eat more potatoes, honestly. I'm just not big on cooking in general, so I tend to be like, I'm going to make food, and then I buy the food, and then it sits in my house until it goes bad, which is a terrible thing to do. So I try to stick with easy stuff. But potatoes, I need more potatoes. We got a Super Bowl. We have a very cute, lucky Lissy. So cute. See, I'm doing it again. It's just like reflex at this point. Oh, super cute Sandshrew. I just saw Yukamori posting about this on uh, Twitter, too. And like the Sandshrew, I don't know, it took up like this much of her hand. It's... Like, almost the size of the card, really. It's always funny, because, like, they look super tiny on the cards, but she does make the figures quite large. Uh, we got a Cryogonal and a Turtonator, which is the exact same art as the promo card. <laughs> it's just not hollow. That's probably why the Altaria looked familiar. I had a moment there in my brain where I was like, hmm. Why is Schoolgirl so expensive? The weirdest, right? Like... I'm not sure how I feel about it all, because I, like, obviously I like full art trainers, a lot of them are really nice, but the creepiness factor with the popularity of the female full art trainers is kind of, like, icking me out. Like, I almost just want to sell off all of mine so that I'm not in that same group. But I like them because the artwork is pretty and because I like the characters, but... Mm. I mean, you've seen it when you've gone into card shops in Japan where there's, like, the wall of sleeves meant for people who are playing, like, the other card games, like Weiss Cruise and Magic and all that, and it's just all... Girls in compromising outfits and positions who are clearly, like, underaged, but, you know, they're, they're demons. They're million-year-old demons, so it's okay that they look like, oof. Eh. Eh. Okay. Oh! <laughs> the Shiba's Ostetler is amazing! Oh my gosh, I love this. Shiba's O just knocking it out of the park again. And we got, uh, I can't remember your name, so I'm just going to call you an apple teeny because you might as well be one. And, oh, really cute little ice form daughter Maka from Galar. And an Ampharos by Saya Tsuruta. I, I don't know why I need to announce all the artist names now. Apparently that's a thing that my brain has decided to do this morning. So obviously, I have no idea how Yodobashi Camera divvied up their packs. Um, it's a massive chain store that sells electronics and home goods as well as toys and hobby items and video games and stuff, so it's not like a card shop where they would have any benefit in it by intentionally trying to find the good packs or by opening packs until they get the good card and then just tossing the rest of the packs in a box. Like, their staff have no opportunity to make any sort of profit, and the store has no opportunity to make any sort of profit from um, secret rares. So there could be anything in the stack, and there could be nothing. We have no way of knowing what to expect, but we hope, we hope we get something fun. Hey, at least we got a hollow. Um, Reggie Ereki. All right. I don't really know much about the new Reggies, but we have an electric Reggie, so that's cool. He can get in a sleeve. Electric Reggie. <gasps> Rudy! <laughs> someday, someday I will reach the level of being allowed to have emotes, and they will all be crabs. Crabs and Moist Cat, who I was very happy to see the other day. I hope you caught all those Insta stories, because I spent a lot of time harassing Moist Cat. <laughs> I don't think she was very happy with me, but I was just like, mm. Some boxes have no rares, some have three. It's a lottery, and I don't think they could take out the good pulls. Oof. Oh, Primalugia, thank you for the follow. 
Um, that's scary. I, I was seeing that on Twitter and oh, that is a very Zen beware. Beware the Zen. I like that a lot. Now, the idea of boxes with no pulls is kind of horrifying, but I do like the idea of the super rare cards being seated so randomly, but mm -hmm, Galarian did on that. that. We're just not even going to bother with his name. <laughs> uh, any Sage becomes Pan Sage, I think. I think we got it. We got a Sand Slash doing its thing. Oh, and we got a V card. Nice. That is absolutely beautiful. It's Volcarona, right? Man, that is a nice Pokemon. It reminds me so much of Mothra. I likes it. I likes it a lot. Boom. Who did the art on that one? Oh, Kawayu. I'm still not sure if I should be saying Kawayu and like the way that we say OO in English, or if I should be saying kawayo the way you do it in Japanese. But that is really nice. Such a gorgeous Pokemon. That's so pretty. I agree. I like the idea, but if you don't get a pull, I'll be mad. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the thing too. Like if it was a three pull box that these packs came from, there's a good chance I'm going to get something. If it was a no pull box, then there was no hope to begin with. It was a, if it was a one pull box, there's a chance that that one pull was in the other 10 packs. Personally, if I was the Odabashi staff, I would have just opened every single box, dumped all of the packs into a bigger box, mixed them up, and then made my stacks. But um, that that would be danger. It's another potato string. Oh, we have a ball toy. So now my hair is touching my nose and making it itchy. Ugh. Ugh. Tropius. Tropius doing his thing. Oh, it's a Sekio Vulpix. Oh, so cute. I just, I love her delicate work. Like, she's just got this really nice fine line work and then the watercolor going on. I don't know if she actually is using watercolor or if she's using markers, but it looks similar to watercolor to me. Could be gouache. Who knows? Oh, and then we got a Rayquaza V card. All right. We'll take it. That's pretty nice. That is a pretty nice dragon. And he's basically exactly the same as the promo, isn't he? Isn't he? I don't know. Because if the others were the same artwork as their promo cards, then this one probably is too. I feel like it is. I feel like I've seen this before. But also, Rayquaza doesn't get a lot of different poses. There's certain Pokemon where it's just like every time you see them, they're basically doing the same thing. Um, I think that's what makes the special art so interesting to me. And I kind of wish I hadn't taken such a long break so I could have gotten more of them because they're pretty cool. I like seeing the Pokemon in different poses. I like the other Pokemon that are always chilling out in the background. It's just a fun time. It's a really fun time. We got another Tortonator. We got a Bagon being very cute, but I also feel like he's just going to fall down. He's, I, I, there's something happening with gravity there I'm not comfortable with. We got a really cute Marie. Hooray. That goes back here. Um, you. I know this one or it's evolved form of Scorch, but I can never remember what the other one is. But we're just going to put it down. And you, who's another one whose name I can't remember. I just can't remember the Galar Pokemon. Storinda is the Japanese name. Sutorinda. There was a song that was really popular here that just kept going uh, Linda Linda for the longest time. Thankfully, not so popular anymore. But it still gets stuck in my head every now and again. Sizzlepede. That's it. I felt like it had peed in the name. But I was just like, hmm... Maybe it did, and maybe it didn't. I don't know. Sometimes I just shouldn't doubt myself. Let's keep going here. Bam. We have an Arashi no Sanyoku. I guess like a storm something or other. Ooh, that is a really pretty nine tails. I like that a lot. So elegant. Very elegant. It's you, Pan Sage? I think so. Pan Sage, then Simi Sage, right? I, I know they're all Pan and Simi. That Nine Tails is nice. I agree. It's a very pretty card. And you, Sana. I don't remember her. Is it Shana? Oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> I thought this was the last card in the pack. Oh! All right, let's, let's take a sleeve on it. Wait, wait, first. First, let's enjoy the texture. That is really pretty. Oh! Oh, okay. And the little Whismur are trying to hide behind her. He's so shy. Holy cow. I thought the, the Shauna was the last card in the pack. She was hiding things. 
Oh, what the actual? <laughs> you did it. Ooh, you did it. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Um, I don't know if it's this. I think the other Rayquaza is the really big one, isn't it? Where he's like flying around. But yeah. Um, okay. This has happened. Wow, that is nice. That is really nice. I She's one I would like to pull as well. I can't remember her name at the moment, but... Oh, that is beautiful. Very beautiful. I will take it. Oh, my bloody hell. <laughs> bloody hell. There's my British... Zinnia, that's her English name. Oh, okay. So that just happened, and we're not even halfway through the stack. Um, but that might, have, like we said, if it was a one pull box, these packs came from, and if they only came from one box, that could be the only thing. <laughs> only like a Sanman card. Holy, nearly dropped me McDonald's. <laughs> Don't drop your happy set. Hold on to it. Oh my God. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep that. That's a nice one. I mean, that, that's one that's not going on Mercury. I like that artwork that stays with me. That is a pretty one. And there's another Shauna. Thanks, Shauna. That, you, you caught me completely off guard last time. Thank you. Thanks for the surprise. Um, <laughs> my brain is still not fully functional. And you again. Ooh, oh. Knocking my stack of cards around in the background there. <laughs> Poor nuggets. <laughs> hey, you got to take care of your nugs. Oh, my goodness. All right, you're, you're going in the back. The whole stack's gonna slowly slide away now, isn't it? It's getting it's getting too heavy. It's getting too heavy. Pikachu can't handle it. It's too much weight. Uh... Oh, the Groudon. <laughs> the Groudon and the absolutely beautiful Lugia. That is the most special of all Lugias. <laughs> Not that <true. laughs> Oh dear. Watching you guys argue with your emotes is just so much fun. All right, we got Fluffy, whose Japanese is Mokoko. Japanese name, I should say. My goodness. <gasps> it's a Stuffle celebrating Tanabata. That is really cute. Tanabata was on July 7th in Japan, and um, you probably heard the legend of, like, there's two lovers, and they can only meet once a year when the Milky Way is visible, and then they can cross and say hi. But um, if it's cloudy, they can't meet, and I think it's been cloudy the last couple weeks. Or should we say, holy crab? Yes, yes, maybe we should be praising the crabs more. Nine tails. There was a crab when I came down this morning, but it went and hid in the hole where the spade is. Um, you again. And potato mask. Yes, yes. That mask reminds me of something. I mean, obviously it reminds me of the little, like, smiling potato snacks. I can't remember what you call them. Tater tots? Something like that, you know. You know, the smiles. You go and you buy them at the grocery store and they're half frozen and then you throw them in the oven and cook them and they taste delicious. It's a gift from the Kinglers. Yes, yes. Oh, there you are. So this one's sent a scorch, right? Sizzlepede sent a scorch. That is some pretty cool looking artwork too, although I'm concerned about what appears to be water flying towards him, like my boy. I don't think you understand how fire and water interact with each other. This is a battle you are about to lose. You should just roll away. Just, just do a... Wooloo, that's your name. <laughs> Roll away. <laughs> oh, that is some really nice Komia art. Wow. Simi... It... Simi Seer? Pan Seer, Simi Seer? I think that's it. I think. I think. Sometimes my brain, it just does not want to work. All right, we got Blissey back here again and a happy little ray gun doing its thing. Doing his things. Toy. Eh, toy. Kya. 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 Toy catcher. That's interesting. Is it me? Uh, or is Komia stuff getting somehow less LSD as time goes on? <laughs> I mean, it could be. It's entirely possible. I think I'd have to, like, compare Komia's earlier work to the newer work. But I love all the colors. Like, it's, it's just amazing artwork. It's just, um, I think a lot of people collect Komia. And as much as I would love to collect yet another artist's works, I need to I need to limit myself. I need to be reasonable here. Oh, oh, this little plusol. Why are you guys fighting? Don't fight. You're supposed to be friends. Oh, the Minun one was so cute and simple, and then Plusol is just like meh. So much for positivity. My goodness, Cryogonal and oh, Dragonite V. Holy cow, we're doing quite well for 20 packs. Like this is pretty amazing. 
It would be an amazing cross. Oh, heck yeah. Yes. There needs to be more Pokemon cross stitches. That is a very nice Dragonite. All right, it's going to go in the back too, though. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Oh, ah. All right, they're just going to want to slide down, so we'll just... We'll just lie them down nicely, but we'll still open this pack last because I think that's what my brain was thinking when I put it there. Who knows? Maybe there's something to that. Maybe I had a gut instinct. It's probably going to have another potato mask in it. I think that's what we're going to expect from it. More potato mask. Boom. All right. We got a happiny, right? Mm -hmm. It's happiness in Japanese, so I'm just going to go with happiny. Pretty sure that's it. My brain just broke again. Anyways, she's very, very pretty. I like the cute little heart-shaped blossoms falling down everywhere. Very nice. Oh, that is an intense Shelter card. I like that. I didn't know you could make Shelter look intimidating, but well done, Kawayu. That's a fantastic card. See, look at the Minu is so chill. And then Plusel, like, what happened? What happened to make Plusel so angry to start that fight? I need to know. I need to know what the trigger was. Because clearly they were fine, and then suddenly, wah, epic battle. All right, we got a little Hoppip, is that your name? And, oh, it's another Volcarona. <laughs> well, considering how boxes usually go with the number of V cards and hollows, and how you don't, at least the last box, I didn't double up on anything in it. So I feel like they did shuffle a little bit, or I've got like half of the end of one box and half of the start of the next. I'm not entirely certain, but yeah, another Volcarona. Let's stick you under here. You know, actually, no, we'll do this. There we go. There we go. Yes. Big brain. I'm so smart. Potato mask. <laughs> Tuxedo's carb base cousin. Yes. <laughs> oh, I think it would be pretty amazing. Potato mask shows up, throws some french fries your way. You're feeling sad and it arrives to comfort you with a mashed potato. Big old bowl of mashed potatoes, a baked potato. So potato skins, oh, scallop potato. I want potatoes now. I want potatoes. I don't. I don't have real potatoes. I have like the mashed potato mix, where it's like a bag of powder and you add butter and milk and boiling water and suddenly mashed potatoes. But the thing is, oh, another one of those lovely Stantlers. The thing is, once I make them, I end up with this massive amount of mashed potatoes, and I don't have a microwave or an oven or anything to reheat them. So it's like I need to eat like six people's worth of mashed potatoes in one sitting, so they're not wasted. Maybe I will buy a microwave someday. Someday! Oh, another Rikwaza. Uh, there seems to be a theme. I never had powder mashed potatoes in my life. I had never had them either, but um, I had a friend who was moving back to the U.S. and she was getting rid of all the food that she wasn't able to eat before her move-out date, and that included, like, several packs of mashed potato mix. And it's not bad, but, like... While I was still living in Kyoto, what I would do if I wanted to have the leftovers is I'd mix a bit of cream cheese and some shredded cheese on top and then toss it in the toaster oven and bake it a little bit. And that just made it like so much better. You know, you can make mashed potato pancakes. Oh, I did not know that. I wonder if that would work with the powder stuff, though. Maybe, maybe. It's, it's basically just reconstituted potato. But yeah, I also see we have a Kidas, Kidasbury. Is that how I should say that? Kid Esper, that's what we'll go for. Thank you for the follow. I have no idea what we're at now for followers because the little um, doohickey was lying. Let's see if it's still, is it telling the truth now? It's saying 36, but if I look at Twitch itself, Twitch is like 43, so I don't know what's going on with this thing, but it can bloop bloop, get out of here. Dishonesty will not stand for it. Unless there's some glitch in the system I don't know about. Maybe it really is 36. But I like the number 43 better because it's seven away from opening that box of Eevee Heroes. Anyways, we've been looking at that way too long. We got a Galarian Darmanitan. Is that his English name? I think so. Oh, <laughs> Popoko. Hoppip becomes... Skiplum becomes... Jumpluff? I think. I think. I don't know why I needed to do that, but my brain needed to do that. And it's juggling, I think. It doesn't have psychic powers, does it? I don't think it does. I can hear one of my neighbor's washing machines getting angry. But it's not as loud as the cicadas. <laughs> thank you for the follow at Kate Asberg. Enjoy all the pretty cards. Yes, thank you, Dark Skull. Ah, ba ba bum Sizzlepede. Oh! <laughs> I forgot about VMAX cards. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was not expecting that. Oroto. What is, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Ah. Uh, I can't remember its name. Trevenant? Is that it? Is it a Trevenant? Oh my god, he's so angry. He really is angry. You would not want to encounter that in the woods on a dark night. My goodness. Oh, it's nice though. You gotta love those VMAX. I forgot, that, <laughs> completely forgot that they exist for a second. Trevenant, yes. Thank you. Thank you for confirming. Sometimes I can remember things and sometimes I cannot. My brain just doesn't, doesn't like to cooperate some days. I've been like slowly lining up all the empty packs on this side of the table at the left here. Uh, oh dear. All right, Turtonator doing his thing. We got a pan here. Yes, they're pan and then semi, right? I hope so. I really hope so because I'm starting to feel confident in this. Sand Slash, it's you again, schoolboy, and brup, an ice cream. It's like a popsicle. I was a kid, like, I'd get popsicle peat popsicles all the time. I don't know if you guys had that where you're from. Um, and the sticks would always have something written on them. And there was this idea, like, I'm pretty sure you could collect them and there were points and you could get stuff, but it was basically impossible to ever get enough to do that. Um, and I've always kind of wondered what could I have gotten if I could have actually collected the points? Who knows? Who knows what was possible? Hindsight is twenty twenty. Oof. All right, we got an Ampharos. We got you, cute little apple friend. We got a ball toy. We got a bag on. And... Ah! <laughs> I just wasn't prepared. <laughs> oh, pan this to me. <laughs> Very nice. A tree. Yes, it is a tree. Very angry tree. Oh, I like this angle, though. Muganup is the, uh, the artist, or Muganup, I guess. Oh, that is very nice. I like that angle right there where it looks completely smooth, like there's no texture. And then, boom, there's the texture. Oh, that is a, that is a nice tree. That's a nice tree. This is not a happy little tree. Bob Ross would be disappointed. <laughs> oh, man. Although I think Bob Ross might appreciate the hairstyle. Like, I'm sure they could bond over that. Oh my goodness. What is going on with these 20 packs? We still have three left. <laughs> oh, so now we have to wonder, did I get 20 packs from a three hit box? Or did I get the two hits from two different one hit boxes? Who knows? Who knows what's happening anymore? My goodness. I was not, not mentally or emotionally prepared for that. We have an Aurora Energy. My brain really struggled with that one. We got another Shauna. We have that super cute stuff. We're enjoying Tanabata. Tan, Tanabata. Oh my god, Sarah, no. Tanabata. We have a Galarian Darumaka. And you! One of the things that... Where's its head? Which part of this is... The, what? Hold on a second. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't see. That's its face, and that's the rest of its body. I was just staring at it like, where is its head? Although I, I don't know if I like this. It's Japanese just apudu. So it's, it's app dragon. Oh, my God. Oh, that's British Gaming's fave. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, Islington, hello, welcome. That's, that's just, I really, like... It's still hard for me looking at it through the phone camera to like see what the face is like that that really threw me for a loop there i just felt like there were limbs going in all directions and i wasn't sure what was happening my goodness my goodness two packs to go let's see what happens Plop. Da -da 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 -dum. bam all right we have a Pokemon Irekai. All right, so something I'm doing with exchange. Pan Sage. Sand Slash. Sizzle Pete. See, now I'm starting to remember names. And Senta Scorch. And that one really was the last card in the pack. All right, so now we have the last pack here. I guess we can just let the professor hang out over here. He's not doing anybody any harm. We think, I don't know, it might be a mistake. Last pack. 
I think we've done quite well, but let's just see. I mean, we can always hope for a third hit, but I think that would be pretty darned greedy. Let's just see what we get here. Da -da 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 Last pack. Even just a hollow would be exciting. Oh, hey there, wishy-washy. I haven't seen you in a while. He's really upset. He's a very, very unhappy wishy-washy. He's not having a good day. Oh, there's that pants. Or no, Simi Sage. Simi Sage again. No, Simi Seer. My goodness. Brain. So hard to remember. So jelly of your Professor Willow card. Aw. I, I have a second one that I have to decide what to do with. I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell it, but I'm not sure to whom or how I will do that. But we will figure it out. We got a Blissey. We have another one of those super cute Stoffels. And our last card is a Great Ball, which we can't really complain about because holy heck. Let's uh, get this little stack together here. Ah! Get the little stack together here for a recap. Pikachu can just keep chilling there. It can just keep on chilling because that's what it wants to do. Well, I get everything organized here behind the camera. Woohoo! Wow, we have quite a few duplicates here. Wow. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. All right, everything's back in order. And one of my feet is trying to fall asleep. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> Pikachu has passed out from the trees. Chillax, chillaxu, chillaxu. <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Actually, wondering. Do we have any crabs? To... No, no crab, no crabs right now. I'm sorry. Would have been fun to have some crabs to bless. To I guess, yeah, they'd still be blessing it. The pulls are done, but they'd still be kind of giving their approval. All right. So our two promos. We had a Turtonator and an Altaria. Looking good. We have the Electric Reggie, whose Japanese name is just Reggie Eleki, so I'm going to assume his English name is probably something like Reggie Elek. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know his name. My brain wants to say Toxicity, but I'm just like, is it? Is it? I can't remember the life of me. Anyway, we got two of him. Uh, was it Sturinda in Japanese? We got a Dragonite V looking like a Dragonite. We got Rayquaza V times two, because that's how we're doing things today, apparently. We got this beautiful Volcarona. Like, this is definitely why I prefer the 2D artwork over the um, CG stuff, like the computer-generated graphics, because this just looks amazing. Whereas that is just like, eh, it's like the old GXs, whatever. You know, it's Rayquaza, it's cool, but it's not particularly stunning. And we just happened to get two of it, so hooray! Double the cute, fluffy, moth baby goodness. We got one VMAX card, and it is a Trevenant, which makes this all the funnier, because <laughs> we got Double Tree. Double Tree. Isn't that the name of a hotel? I think it is. Anyways, we got the Double Tree. <laughs> and we got this absolutely stunning... Super rare. I think this is, uh, this is the proper term I'm supposed to be using. Special arts. I feel like it is. But that is just gorgeous. I love this. Of course, there's the other requisitories like flying through a valley, which is just beautiful as well. But I really like this. This is quite nice. And considering it was just 20 random packs from Yodabashi Camera, and I had no way of knowing where the packs were coming from or what might be in them, I am quite happy. Like, there was no guarantee I would get anything so the fact that we got two hits out of a random 20 packs is pretty fantastic, in my opinion. Pikachu, do you want to stand up? I think not. No, no, it likes chillaxing. Look at his dirty little feet. Huh? Don't look at it, the dirty little feet. Just hang out there. Hooray. Oh, goodness. That was a sweet set of pulls, right? <laughs> the Hilton Doubletree. <laughs> All right. I was going to show you guys this. This is what I've been doing off the side here because it pleases me. <laughs> I don't know why I had to arrange the packs like that. It just needed to be done. It'll be nice and easy for cleanup though. I can just like flip them all together. Hooray. Hooray, hooray. <laughs> I can't believe how well that worked out for just 20 packs. I want to open the other 20 packs right now, but I feel like I should save them for another day. It is already 20 past 8 here and... Um, I don't need to leave for work for another hour and a half, but I should maybe do something else. 
like some knitting that Wulu is protecting right now. Let's, let's get the Wulu though. Wulu likes to hang out over here. Hooray. So, um, I always just want to keep chatting. That's the thing. I don't do well with this whole like, okay, we did the thing, time to end the stream, because I'm just having fun. I just like hanging out. It's a good time. I like just chilling out and chatting with whoever's online, but I should maybe wrap it up. I don't know. Do you guys have any final thoughts? Do you have any feelings about the polls? What was your favorite? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious what the favorite should be, but maybe there's something else you really liked out of a set. I don't know. <laughs> I could chat. I totally can just hang out and chat. It's just... I should also get ready for work. Mm -hmm. I don't like, I, I like work, but I also don't like work. Mm. Which I think is true for everybody. Everybody knows how it goes. What's happening out here? Let's have a quick look at other things. And yeah, we're at 43 followers now. <gasps> the rare is stunning, but Angie T, Angie Tree, yes. <laughs> the angry tree is pretty fantastic. I'm pretty happy with those. And to get a pair of them, like two different forms of angry tree, I think that was pretty lucky. Oh my goodness. Now you need the willow signed by Robbie Damon, his VA. Ah, oh, I, I guess that could be a thing. I'm not particularly like fond of Professor Willow or English voice actors, so... I mean, maybe if he was ever in Japan signing stuff, but I would probably do the, um, the big old no-no of get it signed and then sell it. <laughs> oh, you didn't even make wood jokes. I'm proud of us. Yeah. Uh... Oh no, morning wood. <laughs> My brain wasn't ready for that. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Actually, that was a thing with that whole, um, recent kerfuffle about uh, signatures on cards. Uh, I won't dig too much into that whole situation because I think we're all aware of what happened. But um, yeah, apparently like that's one of the reasons a lot of Japanese artists don't want to sign things for, especially when they go abroad to conventions and stuff, because they know people aren't signing it for their own happiness. Like I'm getting this card signed because I love the artist's work or I'm getting this CD signed because I love the artist's work. A lot of people are just getting it signed because it increases the value of the item and then they want to sell it or they want to save it as an investment item and sell it later. So they don't like doing that because in Japan, I guess that's not as much of a thing. I mean, I've definitely seen items with signatures on it for sale in places, but it seems like there is more of an idea that like if someone has signed that, that it was for you, it was made for you that's special and you should treasure that. Um, so the idea of someone being like, sign my like hundred cards, I'm going to sell them for twice as much as what they're actually worth is kind of offensive to Japanese artists. Not all of them, obviously though. Some people are fine. They use the wood of Trevenant to make cards. <laughs> that's why the Trev is so angry. <laughs> it's quite possible. Actually, I wonder if you were to build a wardrobe out of a Trevenant's wood, where would it take you? Hmm. I've seen some people that remove the personalized name of the cards, altering the signature, which is stupid. Oof. Yeah, that just doesn't make sense to me. Like, it's just... I don't know. I, I can understand both sides, because there's always going to be people who are just greedy and only care about money. Those people are always going to be around, and I'm always going to look down on them a little bit. Like, it's inevitable, but it's just... It's so offensive to the actual person doing the signing. And then, like... That discourages them from wanting to sign things in the future. And people who might have been willing to do signatures won't even start because they're like, well, I, I know what's going to happen. Like some guy is going to go on YouTube and say that this signature is worthless. So why would I sign anything even for the real fans who really love it? Where do you think the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe came from? Oh, no. I mean, part of me just wants to run with the joke and laugh. But the other part of me is like, well, it's from the apple that the boy had to get to make his mom better in the, was it the magician's nephew? I read the books. I read them when I was a kid, all seven of them. And then as an adult, people were like, you know, that's Christian propaganda, right? And I was like, why did you have to ruin my childhood? <laughs> I really like those. I know. Let me have a look in my closet here. I have some packs that a friend gave me and I'd be meaning to open them. Let's see if I can find them. <laughs> Ugh, standing up is so difficult in the morning. So it seemed like I was Genki and had energy until I'd stand up. Um, where did I put them? Where did I put them? Where did I put them? They're in here somewhere. 
If it's not immediately obvious, I might have to give up on this idea. <laughs> There's so much in the closet. Here's the, the 20 packs of the other set. Can you guys even still see me? Kind of. Yeah. Thankfully, I'm wearing pants right now, so it's not as disastrous as it could be. I thought that far ahead. Oh, there they are. There they are. There they are. Hooray. I do have other boxes of things to be opened at some point or another, but the EV Heroes will not be open until we hit 50. And if we get through those other 20 packs before hitting 50, then I guess we'll open up the Fat Pikachu box. Ba -bum. So a friend of mine was visiting Wakayama recently, and he lives um, near Yokohama. So I'm not sure which Pokemon Center he's been to, but... Oh, let's get this open. Um, he brought me some loose packs as a souvenir. So we have a couple things here that I have opened before. So we got... I can't remember the proper names. I can't remember the English names, I should say. We got... Um, what is this? Hangyaku Crash, Hangyaku Crash, Mugen Zone, and then these two, which I did not get a chance to open. So I'm really excited for these. So let's just do these four, and then we'll do an official wrap up because why not? Um, and since my friend was kind enough to give me these packs, I would like to open them and share the share the joy with you Poke people who are here right now. Because why not? Why not open just a couple more things? All right. So we're starting with the. Uh, Something Crash. I already forgot the name of it. <laughs> I literally just looked at it and then forgot what it was. All right, we got our card trick. And we got a Postman Pete. Pettipa, that's his name. It's right there on the card. Morupeko, being happy, super happy. You, my brain was just like squanch. And I'm like, that's not his name. <laughs> it's something with a squat though, isn't it? What's this Japanese? I think Hoshigarisu would make the most sense. But then he's like the wanting squirrel, which is, hmm, hmm. I really need to play the DLC. Yeah, me too. I need to finish it. I need to finish the first one and then download and play the second one. My hair. You, stop putting my hair in my nose. Floor fan being rude. Oh, and we got a hollow. Nice. Very nice. We'll just... I put everything in a sleeve, even though it doesn't need it. You know, this this doesn't need to be sleeved right now. It can just sit here. Very nice. Hollow from a random pack. Squavit. That's it. Squavit. Such a great name for a Pokemon. All right. Now we're doing the Mugen Zone. Mugen Zone. Let's see what we get in here. Hooray, hooray. I need to figure out. I'm pretty sure if I got a capture card, I could plug the switch into the computer and I could play. The only thing I don't know is if doing that, because it's basically like the HDMI system, right? So if I plug it into the computer to capture the video and sound of the games, would I then have to look at the computer to play, or would I still be able to look at the Switch and use it handheld to play? I don't think you can. Like, I think it has to sit in the dock, so I don't know. I really don't want to have to buy a second monitor or a TV or something ridiculous like that. <gasps> Because everyone knows if you have a TV in Japan, NHK can come for you. I think you have to view computer screen. Oh, yeah. Maybe if I got a cheap monitor or something, it'd be all right. But, meh. Oh, I only have so much space. We got a Shibuzo ice cream card, though. That is fantastic. Oh, and another hollow. <laughs> what is up with the pulls today? We're doing quite well for just random things. My friend shows very, very well. All right, so we got a, we got a choice here. Dark or light? This one says Hoku, Hokugin? Yeah, Hokugin no Dansu. So white, silver, lance, and Shikoku no Gaisto. Okay, that, that one I don't even know what's happening. Left? All right, light. Let's go with the light one first. <laughs> yeah. So I have not opened any of this set whatsoever. When I went to buy my air conditioning, um, I was in Adeon and I noticed that they were selling packs, but they only had one of the two sets left and it was a maximum of five packs per person. So I was like, meh, pass. That doesn't sound like it'd be all that exciting. Um, and then I've seen people opening cards that I think are from the English version of this set and there's some really pretty stuff in it. So, hmm. Oh, hey there. Melon. All right. We have a melon. That's why this character is popular, isn't she? Uh, let's just put her down. <laughs> oh. 
Aaron being super cute. Oh, oh, you, the fancy poodle. What is your name? Torinian in Japanese. Furfrau? Is that it? Furfraulein. The jet black poltergeist is the more popular one. Ah, thank you. Um, Hippopotam becomes Hippodon, I think. And we have you, Agron. All right, I, I always do this as though I think it's going to be shiny, but meh. All right, last pack. Let's see what happens. Let's see if my friend managed to pick a really good one here from the Pokemon Center. Uh, he's got some very pretty eyelashes happening there. Uh, uh. All right, let's see what we get out of this one. It's funny how the sets work when they're doing the two in a month again. There's always going to be one that's more popular than the other. And it's like, can you guys not figure out a way to balance it? I mean, not that I want everything to be sold out, but maybe things would sell out a little less fast if both sets were equally amazing. Um, and I mean, they are equally amazing. It's more they each need to have a high value, high demand card in them that are so close in value that people can't choose between one set or the other. And maybe to slow things down. Maybe. I don't know. Probably would just sell out twice as fast. Anyways, we got a wheezing. Oh, that is a very nice Sao Sao cast form. Enjoying the Ajisai during Tsuyu. I like that. Uh, Ajisai being Hydrangea and Tsuyu being the rainy season. <laughs> My brain sometimes just like, it's Japanese time. You! I know you or your father are club, club octopus. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Anyways, very, very cute. Super cute. Tataco. <laughs> the Japanese name is so good. Gullet. And we got a little scroll thing. There's a lot of these scrolls in these sets. I don't know what's going on with them. All right. But very cool. Very nice to have a little extra something to open from my very nice friend who was kind enough to bring those for me. I'm not going to go pulling anything else crazy out of the closet, though, because we are getting close to one hour here so I should probably actually wrap this up and get going for work I hoped if I stalled a little bit that oh oh wait there is a crab I don't know if I'm gonna be able to crab cam it for you guys let's let's see here Ugh. get the curtain out of the way crab cam oh it's just so chill I have no idea what those pots are, by the way. They were here when I moved into the house, and I've just let them thrive. And then I stuck my spade in that hole so I wouldn't lose it. And sometimes the crabs really like it, and they really want to hang out with it. So, yeah, we got crab cam. Success. <laughs> it's just so cute. Anybody talented out there want to make a watercolor painting of crab cam action? You, you go for it, because I'm looking at that, and that's what my brain thinks. Like, yes, the crabs. That should be on a postcard. <gasps> Yesterday there were very few crabs, but there was a massive huntsman spider. I was not happy about it. It was just lurking around a corner, so all I could see was like, here's the wall, and just these like legs like this. And I knew it was a huntsman, but eventually as it got to evening, it came out, and it was like twice the size of the one that I caught in my house. And it just sat on the wall staring at me, and it scared the heck out of me. And I managed to last about an hour before I finally snapped and started throwing water out the window. And it just kept running all over the wall. And I was like, please just go on the other side of the wall and go, ugh, go away. It finally did. But now I know there's a massive huntsman spider lurking somewhere out there. And, ugh, ugh. Like seriously, the leg span, I don't know if you've got my, it, the leg span would be longer than Pikachu is tall. It, it, ugh, uh, no, we don't, we don't like the big spiders. And I think the crabs don't like them either because they didn't show up yesterday. Uh, all right. Um, I should really wrap this up and get ready for work. Although now I'm feeling tired and I want to take a nap, but I can't do that. I can't do that because I got a job to do. I'm a supervisor. <laughs> I have responsibilities. <laughs> so many responsibilities. Yay. Anywho, thank you everybody for coming and hanging out. Thank you to the uh, new followers who came and joined us as I keep saying, even though I hate doing the whole like begging for attention thing, if we get up to 50 followers, I have a whole box of Eevee heroes that I will open. But I, I've told myself I'm not allowed to open it till I get 50 followers. So please, please follow so that I can open the box. I really want to open that box. Anyways, thank you very much for coming and hanging out. Hey, <laughs> does any of your a major week? Yes, it totally did. What have I missed? Uh, Brace, you missed some trees. You missed the double tree. 
It's 10. Glad I managed to catch this time. Yes, thank you. I'm glad you can make it too. And thank you to Dark Squall. Yes, you guys all have a lovely day, evening, morning, whatever time it is for you. I think some of you are still living in the past. It's still Sunday. It's Monday morning here. And I will catch you guys soon. So we have another 20 packs and two more promo packs to open and other things. And there's always Pokemon Go. Maybe we'll do a Meltan box when I, another three days goes by. Who knows? Anyways, I'll just talk forever and ever and ever because that's what I do. I go blah, 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 blah. So have a lovely, lovely day, all everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I will see you again very, very soon. Should we get the Pikachu up here and do one of these? Yay! Love you and appreciate you. Goodbye!